Hey everyone, Jordan Bud here with Rockslide, and I just did a video on the Hoodlum as it was like full with like five days of gear in it, kind of how I have it set up. Uh, but so now I want to go through how I would run it for day mode and just show it compressed. So again, this is it's pretty much empty. I have a Sherman pocket attached to the bottom. I have a medium belt pocket attached to the back on the top pals. And then on the top of the lid, I have a medium belt pocket. So it's a pretty big bag full there. So if I just completely emptied it and put all my camp stuff over here quickly in the inside, right here there's a tab loop for a water bladder. I typically don't use a water bladder, but you can hang one in there and then right here it's a little velcro piece that opens up and that's a water bladder port so you can run your hose through that side and there's also one on the other side i just run nalgene bottles for the most part so i wouldn't use that but so the first thing that i would do is tighten the bottom of the bag where the bottom of the bag goes to the bottom of the frame i would just completely suck that down Pretty much like that and then do it to where you can see and I would fold the lid over attach these lid straps and then I would load everything through one of the side zippers. But right now I'm gonna run my, it's a 95 millimeter Swaro, angled. I'm gonna slip, slip that in there, and my glassing pad. I'll put in there as well. As you can see, like there's, you could stuff something else up there if you needed to. Then the other side, I'm gonna run Rain gear, this is just the vapor storm light from first light. Shove that in there. Maybe this is just my like bag of snacks for the day. I'm gonna throw those in there. Plenty of extra space. You could shove your puffy jacket in there if you wanted. And then I'm just gonna start loading everything in the side. So all depends what you're using, but shove my puffy. I usually shove my puffy down in the bottom just to give it some shape. Some kind of a shape. Maybe I'll throw another layer or so. Um, this is actually my possible pouch, but my kill kit's the same size, so I'd basically just have two of these that I would sh throw in. And, and that's really about it. There's not that much extra that you bring. Uh, my camera, my camera gear, I usually just, I would just put my camera in here if it was going to be in the bag. Usually it's on my Peak Designs clip on my shoulder strap. But if I wanted my camera in there, I would just stick it on top of all that stuff and close the zippers up. And then run that middle compression strap around. Kind of suck everything up here. I would really have my gloves and beanie and things in here. And then in this top one, I'd have my uh, headlamp, my in reach, maybe another battery charging pack, Uh, some extra hunting stuff, maybe some things like that. Strap all that up, and then actually, probably on this side is where I've been running my tripod. So I just 
Tuck it on there. Hook the tripod up, and then I'm running the Sherman pocket. So I'd hook the Sherman pocket up, just like so. And that's got usually like charging pack, anything quick I need to get to, I just stick in this outside pocket. I just have a charging pack in there right now with an iPhone cord. And then here in the main pocket, I have my 15 power binoculars. As you can see, there's a Swaro 15 by 56s. They fit in there. They come up to about there. Usually I'll shove, I mean, just anything. I could get rid of one of these pockets. You just put my gloves and beanie and stuff in the bottom. And then that, that makes this stick up a little bit higher. So I can just flip the top of the Sherman open and grab my binoculars out. That works well. And then the inside of the Sherman is where I keep my batteries. Um, lens wipes, extra SD cards, things like that for my camera gear, but not everybody carries camera gear, but it's just really good organizational features. I really like running it like this. Um, the Sherman really takes the place of a lid for me. Um, with this, it just seems like it's more versatile than a lid. I can stick a pocket up here and the normal things that I would want to put in a lid, I can put in there. And then for my camera, Really, my camera is what I only put, I would put other things in the lid, but the camera would go in the lid, like, I would carry a lid before just so I could put my camera in it. Um, but typically, I just put my camera inside the main bag, like I was talking about before. So then, again, I can flip this down, like so. I could run a rifle in it, run a rifle up the back, just like that. Take the straps that hooked up to the top of the Sherman, they're opposite, so I can run them just like that. And then I've got a, a pack with the rifle attached to the back. And then I can take my bow, and I usually use the top cam, I'll just put the top cam right here, fold up, the Sherman pocket over the top of the bow, and that's kind of what you're left with. You can, on the, this particular pack, you can move the, uh, the Sherman pocket, you can move it down to these lower straps that are right by the handle. That will move your bow down a little bit more. You can attach you can attach um, straps just like these ones that are strap strapped to the top. You can strap those to the bottom, so you can have full expansion on your Sherman pocket. Um, so that, that's a few things of the Sherman pocket, but. Um, I really like the way that this thing is shaping out. I just kind of did these videos as an initial thing. There was a lot of questions on the forum about this pack and wanting to compare it to the other ones, which I did in another video, and then wanting to see it kind of fully packed up, and I did that in another video. And then one of the bigger questions was how would it compress down? Um, I mean, I think it compresses down very well for what's in it. A lot of the the shape and things on the side is that spotting scope pocket, the angle spotting scope pocket, the end of the eyepiece is right there. And, uh, but a lot's gonna fit, you know, an angled spotting scope, the 95, that's like the biggest spotting scope that I think they make right now. And it fits in there with room for my glassing pad. And I could put like a beanie or I could probably shove my rain gear in there. And then the other side used to be a spot where you shove you know, just whatever else. And then, if you want to get your spotting scope out, this first pocket, or this first strap goes along the top of this, so you don't have to unclip the first buckle to get your spotting scope out. And this one, you wouldn't have to take it off either, you can just loosen it. But the middle strap, you pop off, and pull your spotting scope out, and then, Slip it back in. So you really only have to undo 
this middle strap and they did make it with these uh, like the vertical webbing so you can strap or pass your your straps through it so you don't completely lose them in the back that is actually kind of nice and then here you can get in you can access the main pocket just by that if you just depends I mean where you know where you think you want to get into you could have this set of zippers running high on this side and then on this side have them running low so if there's something low you want to get in you, you can get in that side or whatever you could just unclip this and be able to access the entire bag so this this pack is going to be pretty dang cool for this year i think um, i really like having the pockets on both sides i actually thought that i would use this side pocket a little more than than uh then I would just use one like I thought since I had two of them I would use both of them a lot um, and I don't know if I'll you know fill the other one completely full because I usually strap my tripod to the outside of my pack anyways um, but there are a lot of tripods I think that are going to fit in that uh, yeah this is the hoodlum from Kafaru in kind of a day pack mode if you don't include the Sherman you see compresses just like all the other Kafaru packs it compresses really well and um, I'm looking forward to using this pack this year